egységekkel. Folyt Sára és Opavski Márk lesznek az ötös pályán. A magyar egy Sára folyt in the front of the Hungarian boat, of course, is a former uh, under-23 world champion. So uh, she's very, very fast. But as we get underway, watch the poles in lane three. They are the form team. Both of these paddlers have won two gold medals already this week. So they are going out fast too. It's Poland already in front. The Germans on their outside. And out here closest to the camera, it's the Italians as well taking it out fast. So Poland, Germany and Italy at the moment are your three front runners here. It's the Poles though that are really putting in the hard yards. Martina Klatt and Jakob Stepan. They're going for their third gold medal of the World Championships, which would be a phenomenal performance for these young Polish paddlers. It's Klatt and Stepan from Poland. It's the Germans, Lant and Busch. And across on the far side of the course, it's the Italians, Ricciero and Spurio. So that is, at the moment, your top three. The Hungarians starting to come through as well, trying to challenge for a medal. But it's the Poles at the moment. They are making every post a winner. Poland ahead of Germany. The battle for third is interesting between the Hungarians and the Italians. But there is your battle for the gold medal. The Germans now trying to rein in the crew from Poland. It's Poland still in front. Germany digging deep, trying to get there. Poland one, Germany two. I think the Poles have got it. They're looking very strong. This angle can be a little bit deceiving though, but at this stage it looks like Poland holding the lead. Germany trying one last time to get there. Poland holding on the Germans, throwing everything at them now. It's Poland, it's Germany, it's Poland just ahead of Germany. The Hungarians coming through for the bronze medal. But there you go, Poland. There is a third gold medal for these two young paddlers. Martina Klatt and Jakob Stepan. They've won gold in K4. They've won gold in K2. And now they've teamed up together to win mixed gold as well. What a fantastic week they've had. They sure have had an amazing week. I know at the European Champs, Poland were at the top of the medal table at the Junior and Under 23 European Championships. And they are performing at such a high level here at these World Championships also. Um, the Germans, though, they really put it up to them, and it was a great race to watch between those two crews, and then Hungary coming home in third position, so claiming the bronze medal. And, you know, I think these new combinations, uh, these new mixed so K2s are very exciting, and the Italians, what a fight they put through. And as you can see, the... British came home very strong also to finish in fifth place with Norwegian sixth from what I can see. So a really great race. We did expect the Poles to be the front runners uh, and it would take something pretty special to run them down, but uh, it was a pretty good result. The Germans are pretty sta happy though with their silver medal. And Martina Klatt, I said to her yesterday, I said, by the time this week's finished, I will have you speaking perfect English. And uh, so she was very excited about that challenge that I'd set for her. And I said to her, you've got 24 hours now to think of some great things to say to me. Uh, so we'll see if she comes up with the goods a little bit later on today. But there is the confirmation there with the Polish crew taking the gold medal. I think that is gold medal number six.